So good evening, New Mexico. We want to get right to our team coverage of this winter weather that's moving into our state. Julie Frendak and Griffin Rushton are standing by in the metro and in Santa Fe. But of course, let's get started with Chief Meteorologist Eddie Garcia. Eddie. Yeah, right now it is a quiet moment across most areas as that storm gets closer and closer. But let me show you the storm center. It is directly over northern Arizona. You can see that on the southeast side of this low pressure system, which is the engine driving the storm, that's where we're seeing the heaviest snow. So as this gets closer and closer to New Mexico, that sort of activity is going to be moving in first to western New Mexico and then eventually across uh, most areas of northern and central New Mexico as we head into the overnight hours. At this very moment, there's only select few areas which are getting the appetizers before the main course gets here. We're looking at Santa Fe getting some light snow in and around the uh, metro region out toward Los Alamos. This has been coming and going really throughout the day. Uh, but again, as I mentioned, this is what's happening ahead of the storm. It's not quite here just yet. From Nagizi to Cuba, we're getting some uh, pretty good flurry activity. And now we're starting to pick up a little bit more in Grants and also West I-40. West I-40, one of the many spots we're going to be watching as we head toward morning. And also the wind will be a major consideration. So straight ahead, I'm going to be talking about all the warnings, advisories, and everything in between. Uh, to let you know exactly how to plan tomorrow morning, which might be in some cases impossible to get to work. Yep, gonna very, very possibly be that way. All right, Eddie, thanks so much. Let's get to Julie Frendak now. Julie, you've made your way along a huge stretch of I-40 today. I mean, first you were heading west, uh, then east, checking on conditions in the metro. Now you uh, were in the East Mountains a, a bit ago. So what did you find? Yeah, Tessa, it's been quite the trek today. We've gotten a nice little tour of about half the state of New Mexico from east to west because first this afternoon we headed sort of straight on into that first round of flurries in western New Mexico that Eddie's been talking about. We actually made it pretty close to the Arizona state line past the Continental Divide where we saw some pretty serious flurries, a little bit of accumulation of snow on the sides of the interstate along with that blowing snow coming down from the mountains as well. We flipped around from there, came back east and saw some of those flurries again that we've been hearing Eddie talk about in that eastbound uh, or the westbound I-40 area between Gallup and Grants. We actually have some video to show you that we were able to capture on our ride back east uh, from that area. And again, just showing some, some pretty serious flurries on the interstate around 730 tonight. That's between Gallup and Grants. We did see a few snow plows out in that area as well, patrolling and plowing what little accumulation was sticking to the road at that point if any in some areas. DOT crews in the Western District will stay on standby throughout the remainder of this storm. DOT reps told us earlier they were gearing up for what they're expecting to be the worst storm in Western New Mexico so far this winter because of the wind they're expecting and the possibility of ice on the interstate. So uh, we'll definitely stay on top of conditions in that area, which brings us back to where we are right now. We are back in the metro. Uh, we're right on tramway near I-40, so we've had a nice chance to uh, to get on that I-40 corridor, check on conditions in the East Mountains where it's looking absolutely clear. You can see tonight where we are near Tramway, absolutely clear as well. Definitely cold, definitely a little bit breezy, but um, like Eddie's been telling us, the, the brunt of this storm is coming as we are all sleeping tonight. So where we are now and uh, and back east is going to be covered is, is what we expect. So um, definitely something that we'll be keeping a track of and our morning team will be tracking as well. With that, we want to get over to Griffin Rushton, who has been in Santa Fe this evening, checking on this storm and tracking it in that area. So Griffin, what are conditions looking like now? Hey, Julie, things are pretty quiet in Santa Fe right now. Just a couple of little flurries right now. And as Eddie mentioned, this is likely the appetizer for what's to come. There is still plenty of snow on the ground here right now. And I want to show you my photographer and I built this little snowman. I'm actually too afraid to touch it because the snow isn't really sticking really well to each other. So this thing might fall apart. But, you know, 
Plenty of people had fun today here in the Santa Fe Plaza. I want you to take a look at this video. We saw some dogs rolling around in the snow. Some families were getting in on the snowball fights and you know, but for the most part, there was just a lot of happy couples who were enjoying the snow covered beauty of the Santa Fe Plaza and what a perfect day for this. It's Valentine's Day. Everyone was out just having a good time together. And so we're going to hear from some of those couples in about 10 minutes. But as for the roads, things have been pretty clear here in Santa Fe. We actually just saw a plow truck just come through the plaza not too long ago, but we have seen a few cars slipping on the moisture on the road and MDOT reps say that they'll have crews out around the clock, making sure that those main roads are clear and prep for whatever comes tonight. But as we've told you before, they have miles and miles and miles of roads to get through. So if you do come across roads that don't look like they're fully clear, just please take it slow and just know that there are crews out there working to get to those roads. Yeah, Tessa? and what's coming is going to go on top of what's already there, especially in Santa Fe. So yes, to reiterate, please be careful if you have a morning commute. All right, Griffin, we'll check back in with you and Julie a little later in the newscast. Friends, you can always get real time updates of this storm or any other heading our way by downloading our free KOB4 weather app. You can get that wherever you get your apps. And we want to get back to our team coverage of this winter storm moving its way into our state. Let's start with Griffin Rushton in Santa Fe, where you, you have a, a nice bit of snow, right? Actually, we're going to start with Julie first. I apologize. Griffin, you have a little more time to play in the snow before we come to you. All right, Julie, you've basically gone the whole stretch of I-40 today. Uh, back here in the metro, so how are things uh, looking and feeling? It's kind of like you have two of three of the ingredients that we're getting in this storm. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen a little bit of everything. We started heading toward Grants and Gallup this afternoon. Started with sunshine, actually, and then um, saw some flurries, saw some, some dips in temperatures. We did take a quick check on conditions back east here in the East Mountains near the Tejeras area. The interstate uh, was wet in that area, but no snow, no flurries at this point, which brings us to where we are tonight, right in the metro, right off Tramway and I-40, where it's a little bit freezing, it's a little bit windy, but still no snow. You can see um, it's still very clear but as Eddie's been telling us um, this you know all the ingredients are there and, and where we are now it's clear but come tomorrow morning things will be covered so definitely be prepared for what could be a messy and potentially uh, slower commute tomorrow morning Tessa yeah definitely okay you guys finally get back on 40 and come home for the night <laughs> thanks Julie now to Santa Fe looking at a time-lapse video showing just how much snow has fallen on the plaza since this first round of a storm came through yesterday. Now we get to go have fun with Griffin there on the plaza. Um, and, you know, we wondered if this was going to kind of put a, a little kink in Valentine's Day plans, not necessarily from what you saw. Now we saw a lot of people out here enjoying the snow covered beauty of the plaza. I mean, just take a look at the scene behind me. You got the snow covered trees, the gazebo, there's snow covered restros, and all of it is lit up with these string lights and these lamps. It's, it's really a perfect backdrop for a Valentine's Day stroll and plenty of couples took that opportunity this afternoon. Now, most of them we talked to said that they have faced bigger snowstorms before and they weren't going to let just a little bit of winter weather disrupt the most romantic night of the year. We're just having a fun time. A little February snow couldn't disrupt Frank and Margaret Blanche's annual Valentine's Day dinner. We have a super. We've lived up in the mountains with five or ten times the amount of snow that we're getting now. Yeah. So this so is we, we've been up there for 40 years and we used to get serious snows and it's nothing anymore. The snow definitely couldn't derail this couple's night out either. We have dinner reservations at a restaurant here, which we made like three months ago, <laughs> so the snow didn't deter us. Beverly Brown and Daniel Montoya opted for an early meal, but it wasn't any less special. Well, this is our first Valentine's. And the cold, well, it didn't bother them anyways. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's not that cold. <laughs> it's cold, but it's not that cold. <laughs> Some families spread their love one snowball at a time, and these dogs seem to have plenty of love for the snow, too. I think that the snow is just beautiful. Look at the trees and all the chili and all the stuff. It couldn't be better. This is part of New Mexico. I love it. 
couldn't have said it better myself. Now, everyone we talked to today was determined to make sure that this winter weather didn't disrupt their plans. But, you know, I think it's safe to say a lot of people took this winter storm as an excuse to just stay home and snuggle up tonight. I know that's what I'd be doing if I wasn't required to be out here in the snow right now. Well, there's always next year, Griffin. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You guys also be careful. Get inside. Thanks so much. You know, we were those young kids once. I remember uh, back in my day. Back in my day, oh. we, we had to climb uphill in snow to do a live shot. And It is true. I, I yep. was... <laughs> And, and we complained just like them. We yep. did. I, I was just thinking back to my, my first days working here back in 2010. Mm -hmm. Go up to Las Vegas, you know, mm -hmm. and then it would be Sedillo Hill. Sedillo Hill, yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, but you know what? It, it, it always mm -hmm. ended up being fun. You meet a lot of fun people out there. Yeah, um, you yeah. get to see their perspective of the storm. And certainly through, through our viewers' photos, our eyewitnesses oh, sending those photos they're in. They're amazing. 